flu forces visitation restrictions at St. Nicholas Hospital. South 14th Street lane restrictions announced. Mike McCarthy headed for the Big D. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. News Review for Tuesday, January 7th, 2020. The National Weather Service is out with its annual summary of weather conditions for 2019. Based on climate reports that are issued for Madison and Milwaukee only, 2019 was within a degree or so of historic means and slightly cooler overall than 2018. But while the temperatures were average, precipitation was anything but. With rainfall nearly a foot above normal, that made 2019 the third wettest on record for Milwaukee and the fifth wettest in Madison. Meanwhile, Lake Michigan water levels were near or at record highs most of the year and remain there at this point. The RE Corps of Engineers weekly forecast indicates that in a month from now, Lake Michigan should be an inch below current levels. And forecast mostly agrees that another year of near or new record high levels is in store. City Forester Tim Bull announced that the removal of trees will require lane restrictions in the city of Sheboygan on South 14th Street between Virginia and Jefferson Avenues from 8.30 in the morning until 3 o'clock daily beginning today, January 7th. No completion day was given. During tree remo removal, there will be a speed reduction throughout the work area and northbound traffic will be reduced to one lane. Hospital Sisters Health System has placed restrictions on visitors to the Eastern Wisconsin Division hospitals, including St. Nicholas in Sheboygan. Angela Deja, Public Relations Coordinator, made the announcement on Friday in response to the uptick in flu cases now affecting Green Bay, Acanto Falls, and Sheboygan. Effective immediately, no visitors under the age of 12 will be allowed in inpatient areas and no visitors of any age exhibiting flu-like systems may visit those. And those symptoms include fever, sore throat, cough, runny nose, fever, vomiting, or diarrhea. And only one or two healthy individuals at a time should visit. The hospitals note that no p restrictions apply to pediatric patients attending an outpatient appointment. The restrictions were placed to protect patient safety and prevent the spread of germs and will be lifted once the situation improves. Meanwhile, if you have not received a flu shot, you are encouraged to act now as it is never too late. Wisconsin lost nearly 775 dairy farms in 2019, but 2020 is reportedly looking better. The National Farmers Union says Wisconsin lost an average of two and a half dairy farms a day last year, but Wisconsin Farmers Union District 3 at Director Ed Goral tells WQOW-TV that he thinks the younger people will start supporting local farmers because they want to know where their products come from. Goral also says milk prices are higher now than they were last year. Wood County Fire Departments responded to a home fully engulfed in flames. The fire call came in at 10.30 p.m. on Sunday, reporting a structure fire on Highway 73 in the town of Hanson. No one was home at the time, and fire crews from Pitts Pittsville, Vesper, Arpen, Richfield, and Rudolph responded along with the Wood County Sheriff's Department. Highway 73 was closed between Highway E and Route 186, while crews extinguished the flames. The cause remains under investigation. And finally, former Green Bay Packers head coach Mike McCarthy is headed to the Dallas Cowboys. 
The reports come on the heels of Dallas firing coach Jason Garrett. A formal announcement and press conference is expected later this week. McCarthy had a 135-86-2 in 13 seasons as Packers coach, including a victory in Super Bowl 45. He was fired with four games to go in the 2018 season. It was the second year in a row the Packers missed the playoffs. McCarthy also interviewed with the New York Giants, Cleveland Browns, and Carolina Panthers. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Thursday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.